Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Mr. Dan Reed! La 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 My mother influenced me the most. La 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 my mother was always playing Elvis Presley records and Frank Sinatra records, um, Buddy Holly, uh, Benny Goodman, all these big band records and stuff like this. So I was always kind of around music growing up. And um, so I think that I just kind of wanted to emulate my mother. And my, my dad was a farmer, so it was either farming or entertainment. And uh, it seemed at the time, especially when I was 14, uh, 15, that uh, I definitely wanted to be an artist. Day. I want to get high on you. What inspired me when I was younger was, you know, obviously relationships that I was in, um, heartbreak, uh, falling in love, um, having an idealistic view of the world. Um, in some ways, when you're younger, you want to save the world. Um, or fix it in some way or another. Uh, so that was my drive then. Um, I think when I lived in this Tibetan monastery back in 2004, um, 2003 to 2004, uh, I found a different intention in life. I think more uh, about just trying to create music or create art that brings balance to a chaotic world. That's kind of my goal these days. And same thing with the live performances. It's really about having the audience be there and let, let go of your tension of the day or laugh about our insecurities as a human race. Um, and try to just find light at the end of the tunnel of this craziness. I think what I try to do with music now is just try to make peace with those things in myself. If this is the plan, welcome to the Promise land, the promised land. La la la, la la la, la la la. And if you believe in the promised land, and it's called. I have a little uh, five year old boy now. His name is Joshua. And I have to say that pretty much everything I do and write about and, and think about and all the travels that I do are in some way um, trying to make this world a little better place for him. Than, uh, than when leaving it. I don't know if I'd still have that same intention if he wasn't in the world. I think I'd be more about, uh, you know, I would be more idealistic. Now it's really rooted and grounded in uh, teaching him to be a good person. And that entails uh, writing songs that I hope that he's proud that his dad wrote someday that say something. You know? Inside of your soul, inside of your soul. Get out of your comfort zone. A lot of times we sit there and go, oh, we find a gig we like, um, we find a human being that we want to have a relationship with, um, we settle down, have a family, and we, we're in that mode. Life's a never-ending world. When you're young, you're really passionate about life. Um, and I think at 54 right now, I hope that I'm as, as passionate or close to as I was when I was younger. And that comes from just looking at this amazing world that we live in and all the different cultures that live in it and how much more I have to learn, how many more films I have yet to see, how many more books I have yet to read, um, more languages I can learn from, culture. So I would say uh, my, my only advice is get out in the world and uh, push, your, push yourself. Oh yeah, I drop you up and take you home for sure. You know my boy, would you want a cap? Show me, I'm gonna get to you. I'm gonna get to you. 
Come on, I'm going to 